Wrestling's Master Designers, Thumb Wrestling Federation is back. It took me a few hours. It took me about nine hours to get back into shape. And now I'm ready to get started on drawing more of the greatest thumb wrestlers this, that's this episode has to offer. Now let's get started. Let's see which character we're going to draw next. We started off with Grayson Glitz. We start Grayson Glitz. We ended with we started with Vinny Vinny Victory and ended with Grayson Glitz. Now let's get started on what other character we're drawing next. Ah, here we go. Next up, we're going to draw Gil. He's a beast from the biome, and he's basically a friendly neighborhood swamp man. His first win was against Muggsy Thumbscrew, and second win was against the Big Time. go. Now we draw the dorsal fins. They're part of the gills. There. Our next, our next Dextera will be Dorsal Flynn. He's a stand-up comedian who joined the Dexteras. He got, he went up against the Big Time and Bucks Gazillion. There we go. He has a signature move called the blowhole. And as for Gil, he possesses a move called, well, Mud splat and well, actually, it's swamp mud and bubbles. There we go. Our next thumb wrestler is going to be named Dr. Shrink. He's another wrestler who was created by Trevor Licky and the Licky Library. He's a psychiatrist, social therapist, and 
has a master's degree from uh, the aisle. He wants to know how you feel. What a nice guy. Out of all the characters, I think Dr. Shrink is one of my favorites. Our next one is Miss Fitwell, a gym teacher and a master when it comes to exercise. She knows when to whip you into shape. I know, I've seen her matches like Captain Carpel and Billy Batboy. Now we draw the bowling pin on her forehead. That takes care of that. Next character will be uh, Pei Pei the Purple Panda. The Princess of Porpoise Stand. Wherever that is. And as a thing for Captain Esplanade, I even thought of a son for them named Panda Esplanade. I've been wanting to get in touch with Trevor Lickie for a while, a while actually. I came up with a lot of uh, fighters that might be interested for her, for him, like the Bedwetter, the Dream Eater, um, Kangaroo Jack. Let's see what else. What else? Oh yeah, Skullbash, Arg, and even um, uh, Goldfish Willie. Next up, Tomcat. His signature move, known as the Litter Boxer. His first fight and win was against Queen Nefa Creepy, and he won. I've been a big fan of his, I've been a good fan of his work, even though I haven't seen him in battle since season five. There we go. What else? Oh yeah, Milty the Clown. Oh yeah, Pei Pei the Purple Panda's power involves the uh, staff of Porpoise Stand. And uses it for an emergency. He even, she even used it against Scoutmaster Scott. She knows how to use Flashback's weakness against him. Anyways, uh, Milty the Clown... He's the universe's, he's the planet's best entertainer and a, a good Dexter, a buddy. He has a clown nose. He knows when there's a party. He's also got streamers. And lots of others. Oh yeah. One last, one last wrestler. 
the draw up, and that's Big Star. Big Star, cousin of the big time. I know he's got buck teeth. He does his best to stand up to his cousin's level and do his best to make him proud. I bet there will be a match against them both. Let's finish this. This was the first Dexter I've seen in battle. And there he is. Those are all the... De oh yeah, there's one more character I forgot to add. His name is James Montgomery Flag. Son of wrestler... The stash. James Montgomery Flag is one of the uh, top contenders for the uh, Dexteras. He even fought in that uh, temporal truce against Bucks Gazillion. Oh yeah, I also came up with this other guy called Civil Bystander. I never forget about James Montgomery Flag. Better watch out for Sandy Struts. Because this guy was trained by his father, the Stash. And finished. That is how you draw James Montgomery flag. That we did it, folks. We finally drew all the deck steras. Stay tuned, Master Designers. There will be more like this on the way. And Trevor Licky, if you if you're watching this, just a reminder. I'm I'm a fan of your work and. I hope to one day uh, be included on your series real soon. And for, if I ever start a series, I might get, a, I might have one uh, involving, uh, um, the first fight would be including Lucky O'Leary versus the Black Knight. Can't wait to see that. Be sure to uh, leave a comment below and let me know which character you want me to draw next in the comments below. Anyways, um, that's all for now. Please like, rock, and subscribe to my channel, and let me know which character you want me to draw next. Stegosaurus, see you later. Good night.